Hi everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. From the Big Family Homestead. And well, how the heck are you? I don't feel very good. You're not feeling very good, baby? Well, today's topic is a little more somber anyhow. Well, that's I guess. good, I guess. It is, it's not all, yee -hoo. No. <laughs> it's, uh, we decided we were gonna chat for a little bit on the self-reliant, the homesteader, the prepper mentality when you're dealing with someone who has special needs. Mm -hmm or a medical issue, right. or any number of those things that are really, really uh, stumbling blocks, mm -hmm. roadblocks to a smooth, but it can be smooth, yep. self-reliant life. So, well, here we go, I guess. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who don't know, we have a special needs daughter named Grace, and she's got loads and loads and loads of issues. She does. She was born at 26 weeks at one pound, 15 ounces, and has just struggled to survive most of her life. So she's gotten pneumonia so many times. Uh, she's had a few years back, she had spent uh, almost a month in the hospital, most of that time in the PICU uh, for aspiration pneumonia. Uh, her, it was, it was touch and go there for a, for quite a while. It was really, really scary. She also eats through a G-tube mm -hmm. yep. uh, because when she was born, they had to intubate her. And uh, so she's got a lot of reconstructive surgeries that are literally scheduled mm -hmm. now. However, it could take a couple years to get through all of this. Oh yeah, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, and so she is absolutely a special concern for us in that um, She's on a diet that's that's frankly extremely difficult to deal with. Right. It well, is, some aspects are. Yeah. It. She can only have liquids. And um, thin liquids. Thin liquids. It. And she can't drink them. It can only go through her G tube. She is allowed to drink water in small quantities, but she has to be super careful. She chokes a lot. Yeah. She has to be super careful. Well, take a look at this video, and I want to show you. And I'm going to come back because um, I think we can't get too specific in the video because everyone's special need and special medical thing is different right right this but is this is just to give you an idea this is just an overview this is what grace eats in a month mm -hmm. just to give you an idea this is the amount of food that our daughter grace needs to consume for one month 30 days this is what it takes to feed her all of these cans are jam-packed with lots and lots of nutrition my sugars too, don't get me started on that. But just to give you an idea of the size, the scope of what it takes to feed her for just one month. So that's what Grace will consume in a month. And, and I don't want to get too specific because everyone's special needs uh, are different. Yeah. Whether you've got diabetes, uh, those are considerations you really, really need to be aware of and take into account. Now, all of that to say that What's your plan? Um, and, and as you know, we, we are absolutely uh, as self-reliant as we can. We've got a garden, we've got cows, goats, cow. bees, or cow, cow. Well, maybe cows <laughs> in the future, but yes. that's a whole nother story. <laughs> We're looking for another mm -hmm. piece of property, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But all that to say that um, if you couldn't go to the grocery store, for yourself for a week, that would really stink, right? Right, right. W imagine what it would be like for someone who has a special needs child or they are special needs themselves. Or are diabetic. Right. Or you need your X, Y, or Z shots. And so that's really the point of this video today is to kind of get you guys to open your mind and say, all right, if I am on a medication that I am allowed to get, you know, a month out, six months out, right. and then start rotating that, why am I not doing that? Right. If I am allowed to get food, say with Grace, and I can kind of stockpile just a little bit of it so I've got a few months buffer. And supplement with mm -hmm. cow's milk and goat's milk is What we've been doing, mm -hmm. exactly. So, and finding alternatives to store-bought everything. Like, let's say that you've got diabetes and you need insulin. Okay, I can understand that is absolutely crippling. And right. what would happen if you couldn't get it? I don't know much about that, you know, I, because I don't have it. But however, I do know that there are natural alternatives that, that do help. Mm -hmm. So be looking into those things. And that's really the challenge of this video today is, okay, you know what challenges you face because you deal with them on a day-to-day -day basis. Right. 
Now, imagine it if you can't get to the store or the, the doctor or the pharmacy for a month. Mm -hmm. Then what? Right. Is it just check in your no no no, no. absolutely not. You need to find alter natural alternatives that you can grow or have that way you can have that alternate. Or stockpile things that you can right. get your hands on that aren't gonna go bad. For example, Grace's feeding tube, it's, it's, it's a little tube that plugs into her belly. Mm -hmm. We've got several of those saved up because what happens if one breaks and we can't get one? Right. Oh man. I mean, there's ways you could figure these things out, but if you've, if you've just paid attention just a little bit in advance. Right. So, well, there's really the encouragement for the day is you know, don't just go through life floating through thinking everything's going to be the same as it always has been because it can change on a dime, folks. Yeah. And if you're just, you know, thinking a little bit ahead, you will you'll be far better off. Yep. So, there it is. <laughs> Told you, not not exactly the woohoo video, but Sorry. I feel like it's really important information that needs to be conveyed whether your medical issue is is less severe and and in nature or You've got a permanently disabled child like we do. You got to be thinking ahead, guys. Yep. Yep. So there it is. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing day.